Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some DIY fun in my messy garage. Uh, like I have a new sweet sport for the boat that is more safer than the <laughs> present one. That also is much more, how do you say, professional looking thing. I can show it to you. I have this <coughs> just a uh, ordinary uh, uh, car part store type of thing, but this is for boats since it says anchor light, running light, cap in light, bilge pump, auxiliary, so on. And it has a pretty good amperage coverage with it 10 amps, 8 amps, 6, 6, 3, 3 amps. So yeah, sorry for the noise, some kids are driving with their bicycles on the road. But anyway, and the challenge today will be making a wooden box for teeth and just some uh, main switch and some other switches, those old ones that I have in the boat. If you have watched my previous uh, videos, you ha might have seen them. But anyway, the idea is making a box and installing this and, or perhaps this way, so I can see. But anyway, uh, that's enough talk. Now it's time to measure this and then draw it to the uh, plywood and make the box. So I will take and bring you guys back soon.
Cable management has been done. Now <coughs> all I need to do is find my paint. I try to locate my paint jar, but I think it's lost because all. I so all that I have was this tree oil. I didn't have any paint, but that's brown, so brown it will be. 
I can get this. Shake it up. It is usually used for patios and stuff, but now it's going to be used in my boat project. As soon as I figure out how to load it. That's really proud. Hi. It's day number second. <coughs> so this is how it turned out. I am pretty happy with it. Now starts the fun part of trying to install it. Where that awful thing is. I think I need to... <coughs> for just a moment I'll make some room for the camera. But yeah. I think I need to... Uh, remove that solar controller away in order to get that in place and remove that one and of course the wires <laughs> they are always fun I need to make one ground wire so I can have the lights go bling bling and so on it will be a fun task to try to find out which button is which. That is one of the reasons why I, I am switching this better looking thing away. And I say better looking, I mean the wood finish came out prettier than the new one, but I think I will survive. And also today <coughs> I will take some measurements and since I don't use that icebox hole over there. I am thinking about removing this, this and yeah and just trying to in, uh, make a cover for that so I can have some more room for the use. But let's get started. Now that I have you guys in place it's time to whip out the screw machine and start removing some screws if I can. These are pretty tricky. Come on. Do you guys think that if I have a right, a right bit for this thing, it will help the matter? Just a moment. So this is what the finished end result looks like. So now I have actually uh, aux number two is for the VHF and the platter. I have aux number one, which is for the USB ports on the boat, so I can charge things. I have a bilge pump, which I don't have at the moment, so. That, that is one of the reasons that I only put one screw over here. And also this main switch needs a cable about this length so I can uh, connect it. And then I have the cabin lights. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad connection inside. That's my fault. 
then I have the running lights that you cannot see, but anyway, now I have a decent looking <coughs> switchboard on board. So, that was the journey of that thing. Uh, I am not yet finishing my video because I have some strange things like this. I have no idea what does what this one does. I also have another one that I don't know what it does. And then I have this one that puts light here. But I think I am thinking about removing this light since I'm planning to cover this up with a piece of plywood or something that as I said before I could use some extra space in the kitchen. And <coughs> yeah that's about it. It doesn't look pretty at all. Now it does, now it doesn't. But it works. Even capital lights. I need to fix this today because I hate it when it doesn't work. But I, I will do that off camera. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing. Have a nice day. It's summertime in Finland. As you can hear, the birds are singing and sun is shining and so on. So, have a good one. Bye.